maybe the case is closed. Jerry Jones said after the game, quote, he's become the most valuable player before our eyes in the last several months, close quote. You know, hey, that Green Reaper ain't playing. <laughs> I ain't doing anything. That Green Reaper ain't. Yeah, so you doing a cop thing like him. I'm just trying to warn you. Yeah, we got a lot of officers death. at the, at the desk today. death. Tell the truth. <laughs> um, this is my favorite conversation of the other day because there's been so much dissension about it at the desk. Joy, you had a MVP checklist for Dak Prescott about three weeks or four weeks ago as he was climbing up the ladder. And, and Dak Prescott has been really wowing by his play. Is he the front runner for MVP right now to you? At quarterback, yes, he is. And the checklist was pretty empty on 11-29. It was a long list, and the only thing was Cowboys fans being advocates for Dak Prescott. Best record in the conference or in the league, didn't have, wasn't leading the division, didn't have any statistical phenomenon tracking, wasn't beating good teams, and didn't have a best player in the league moment. Mm. Since then, Ooh, a lot has happened. Ooh. A lot of these things have been Ooh, checked off. Check. I said Eesh. I didn't think it was possible, and a lot has happened, and that's why I love this league. Things can change very quickly. Not only did he check off a lot of the things on this list, but Jalen Hurts hasn't been playing well the past few weeks. Yep. Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs have been struggling. Yep. Nobody can catch a ball. He's probably not going to, to catch either of them or anyone else in, in that uh, MVP race with the statistics that he's going to put up based off of what's around him. So multiple things happened. A lot of things had to happen. That's why I didn't think it was possible. And the very things I did not think were possible has been what's happened, including other players deteriorating in this race. So Dak has been playing Great football, the best football of his career, but he's also checking off the things that he would have needed to do in order to not only stay in the MVP race, but take over the MVP race. He's playing the best at the quarterback position. And when you look at the totality of this season, which is why this MVP race has been so hotly debated, we've not really seen anybody from start to finish play at a super dominant level. Yeah. But since we've really started to pay attention to who should be the MVP this year, Dak has been playing the best. He's been checking things off the list to confirm that he is not only the best in the division right now, but also the best in the league at the quarterback position. Yeah, Dak's the MVP right now. Mm -hmm. He's the MVP right now. And it's, it's simple for me. Dak's road to MVP was just win. Yeah. Right before the Seattle Seahawks game, I was talking about Dak's road to MVP. Beat the Seahawks, he'll be MVP. Yeah. Beat the Eagles, he'll be MVP. Beat the Bills, beat the Dolphins, just win. Jalen Hurts was the front runner for MVP on 1129. Outside of that, it was Tyree Kill and Tua Tunga Bailoa was seated at third. You get to play Tua. You get to play the Eagles. You get to play the Bills. And I say get to, not have to, because it's an opportunity for Dak to show out. You just got to flip that switch in your mentality. Dak Prescott gets to go out there and win MVP, and win MVP is what he is currently on pace <clears> to do. His road to MVP is very simple. Just win and be the reason why your team does. James Jones, Dak Prescott is the MVP front runner for my money as it stands right now. What about you? Yeah, well, I'm glad he is for you because you got to vote. I don't because that's <laughs> been my MVP uh, for a minute now. Now, but when I watch Dak Prescott play, Dak Prescott is making this game look extremely easy right now. And when you watch Dak Prescott on the football field, you feel like, at least me, I'll talk for myself, I feel like he is going to make the right play every single play. That's what he has taught me right now over this eight-game stretch that he is going to make the right play every single time. And as he's out there making the right play, it just looks super easy. Dak Prescott, over these last eight, nine weeks, has been the best player on the football field, clearly. And, and it ain't even been close. And when you talk MVP, it's about looking like you're the best player on the football field, right? Obviously putting up the numbers and your team winning. And Dak is checking all those boxes. He's winning. He's, they're winning because of him, and he's making this thing look extremely easy, and he looks like the best player on the football field every outing. It don't matter who's out there. So for me, yes, front runner Dak Prescott right now, season ended today. He is the MVP. The trophy <clears throat> would be his. Ask me a question. <laughs> Said he's hilarious. <laughs> Did Dak Prescott prove that he's the MVP front runner right now? No, he didn't. I will put I will put Dak at number two. He's playing really, really well. Oh, I think the reason why we, we two things. Well, who's number one? Oh, Tyree Tyre Hill's number one. Okay. Sure, he's doing something that we haven't seen before, right? He's going to go for 2,000 yards. We've, that's never been done before. But I guess people don't care about that. But two things why I think about Dak Prescott is getting the praise. One is he's playing extremely well. He's having a phenomenal year so far. So, so once he turned that, after that six games, right, that he was playing average, he turned that thing on. Now he's balling, balling. I give him a lot of credit for that. But I, I think why we're so, I guess, big on Dak is because this is a player that we, we never 
thought that he would be an MVP type of player, right? He's going up and down, right? Like, like Kirk Cousins type of guy. Now he's an elite. He, so one thing that James did say, when you watch him, he make the game look easy. He's, he's playing the best football for more than anybody else right now. I can say that, right? It, it, it takes some time to come out because it's tough. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll be honest, I do my job. But the thing why, why I can't give him the, the front runner right now, I don't let the people just tell me anything, right? I don't let Vegas just give me these quarterbacks. I got to pick from these quarterbacks. Let, let nah. your eyes tell you. Let, let my eyes tell me. You said one thing I love. You said that Dak Prescott's made the game look easy. He is. Mm -hmm. But is he making the game look easier than Tyreek Hill? Yep. No. Tyreek Hill was out here beating all type of double teams, making it look effortless. Mm -hmm. And if I take Tyreek Hill from the Dolphins, I don't know if they'd be the same type of team. Same with Dak. Because we've seen, because we, no, they, they won without Dak before. It might not look as great, but they won before. Tua, before he got Tyreek Hill, you know what they were saying about Tua? You know. It wasn't good. You definitely know. Now they ask Tyreek Hill, you see the difference. He's on pace to get 2,000 yards. Yeah. I'm sorry, I'm lying. He's on pace to get more than 2,000 yards. <laughs> We've never, ever seen that. Mm -hmm. And it, it, it kills me that when I watch the, when I look at the, the, the voters as far as Vegas, the odds they have. Why is Tyreek Hill in the top three? That's embarrassing. Yeah, that's... Brock Purdy, he's good. Shane Hurts ain't having a great year. He shouldn't be up there further than Tyreek Hill. Patrick Mahomes. I think there's nobody better than Patrick Mahomes. He shouldn't be up there past Tyreek Hill. What's, what's wrong with the game right now? It's become a quarterback award, mm -hmm. and that's terrible. Now, I'm not taking off with that Prescott. He should be number two because he is playing extremely well. And if we're just going for all quarterbacks, then he should be number one for MVP. Sure. But if we're actually going for the best player, the most valuable player in this game, it has to be Tyreek Hill. The guy at five, seven, five. I don't know. I'm going to get a guy. Look, five, let's say five, eight. Let's say five, nine. He won't be mad at me. Five, nine, putting the stats he's putting up. 2,000 yards of receiver. Ballin. And his team is a winning team. Ballin. Stop playing. Let's focus on the quarterbacks. I'm just trying to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> Let's focus on the quarterbacks. I think Dak Prescott has taken the throne of the NFC East back from Jalen Hurts. Personally, I think he does. I think we may have been a little quick collectively to crown Jalen Hurts mm -hmm. after one good season. Because now that we look at Jalen Hurts' four years body of work, he didn't play much as a rookie. He played the last four games of the season. His sophomore year, he was mm -hmm. not very good. His third year, he went crazy. And his fourth year, he's been average. So now that we're looking at Jalen Hurts' whole body of work, we can have a more, uh, more nuanced conversation. But, Joy, has Dak Prescott to you proven he's the best quarterback in the NFC East? Now, see, we, tr we try to get through a whole segment. Mm -hmm. We're doing a whole body of work are we doing this particular season at this particular point right now. Because if the Eagles win out the rest of this year, uh, they don't win the division. So throne of what? Has he proven he's the best quarterback in the NFC? Quarterback in, in the NFC East right now, yes, this season, absolutely. He's playing at the highest level. He's playing at the highest level of any quarterback in the league right now. Let's just focus on this year. We don't want to do body of work. Jalen Hurts was in the Super Bowl last year. Let's, mm -hmm. He was an all-pro. Let's not do body of work. Mm -hmm. For the sake of this, because we're going to get completely derailed, in my opinion. Yeah, I've just asked if he's proven he's the best quarterback in the NFC mm. Okay, I'm just saying, okay, because we don't want to, let's just talk, let's not talk about Jalen Hurts right now. Yeah. <laughs> let's talk about Dak Prescott. Dak well, we Prescott, have to, because to be Okay, but if we talk about body of work, Jalen Hurts and the Eagles were in the, in the Super Bowl, yeah. in the last game of the season. Sure. In, we went, yeah, we was yeah, there. That's, that's the best game. That's the best game. Yeah, like, let's yeah. not do that. I don't want to do that, because that, that was last year. Let's talk about this year. This year, Dak Prescott has been the best quarterback in the league. He's playing at the highest level. He's playing the best football of his career. He's making it look easy. Last night was brilliant. Last night was what you want to see from your team. Complete football on every aspect of the game. He's not making mistakes. That anxiety that we had watching him before, of is, is he going to... Is he going to turn the ball over? Is this a big moment? Is he going to make the mistake? And he doesn't, and he hasn't consistently all year. He's corrected things that we had questions about him. He's, he's making other people better. To me, that's what's really special about Dak. Mm -hmm. Dak has always been a good quarterback. He's always won games during the regular season. He's always put you in positions to win games in the postseason. He's never made you really feel like he's making everybody better. This year, it looks like he's making everybody better. Yeah. And he plays with great players so that's hard to do it's hard to shine when you're on a field with that many stars no pun intended he looks great this year he is he's really started to shine and he's answering the questions and these last few games have really answered the questions for me this year about what Dak is this season yeah and, and if you're a real Dallas fan like a diehard Dallas fan and you being honest you would say out of all these last couple of years he was the biggest question mark on the team all right they had everything you need but when they got tough he was the one that didn't deliver now <clears throat> He like the biggest star on the team. Yeah. You talk about this the way he's been playing, and I've been surprised. I, you know, I keep it real. I don't, I don't sure nothing. The way he's been playing, I, I could never imagine Dak Prescott playing this mm -hmm. well. 
he's probably he is playing the best as far as the quarterbacks in the game right now. Yeah. And to be honest, I think he is playing right now today. Mm-hmm. As we speak, it was December what? Oh, he's not talking. It's 11. <laughs> 11. 11. 11. The 11th. The 11th. He's, he is the best quarterback in our division right now. Mm-hmm. I can say that. He's playing the best. Yeah, yeah it ain't close. All right? I think we need to add that on there. All right? Because <laughs> it, it ain't close. He's, we, we talking about Dak Prescott as MVP frontrunner. So we talking about Dak Prescott, the best quarterback in the league. That includes Patty Mahomes. That includes wow. Josh Allen. That includes all of ah. us talking about that. Ah. That is the level of play that he is playing right now on the football field, and this team is winning. So when you talk Jalen Hurts, because that's the only other quarterback really in that division that can compete with Dak Prescott, it's not close. Dak Prescott is clearly the best quarterback in the NFC East right now, and it's not close. Jalen Hurts is not playing at a high level, and Dak Prescott is on fire. The team is winning because of him. Everybody stats is up. Coach Mike got him rolling. Dak Prescott, without a doubt, and it's very easy. It's really not even a conversation. My dog, Shady, the best quarterback in the NFC, and it ain't close. I just want to say one thing, right, because I'm I'm real spiritual, man, and I I love my savior. I love him. So can we we just say that Dak Prescott's playing the best out of all the quarterbacks right now? Let's just leave the names out of it, because I just feel like when you say you're playing the, the Patrick yeah. Mahomes, don't don't, don't shout. Like, don't shout. It's, like, it's, like, it's, like, it's like a sin a little bit. <laughs> we talk Patrick Mahomes. Let's leave, let's leave his name. Let's leave his name out of it. I'm just saying he's playing the best out of all the quarterbacks. Let's say that to be safe. He's playing because I'm trying to get up in there. I'm trying to go up there. <laughs> I say all the quarterbacks. See, I, mean, most quarterbacks I want you to come there with me, dog. You sin it. You got kids. You got wife. I mean, Shay, you're not you're not wrong. You know, it's not well, right? You're not wrong about about the doubts that people had about Dak Prescott. Oh, okay. Like, we, we have a very, very, very short memory. Cowboys fans have a short memory. Everybody has a short memory. We can pull up conversations from the owner of the team, the guy that writes the checks to, right, this is Jared, Jared, Jared Jones, <laughs> that said he's okay with a quarterback competition mm. not that long ago, as right, in, yeah. like, last year. Mm. So it's, it, it's not like these narratives just got made up. They got verified from within the building from the most important person associated with the team. And that to me is really, really special for Dak Prescott yeah. because he's not just answering questions about, I know there's this whole thing. Everybody hates on Dak Prescott. The owner said he wanted a quarterback competition with the backup. Nobody's making this up. So what Dak Prescott has done is not just been phenomenal for the team this year. It's good for Dak Prescott. Like I love when a player has the opportunity, like you said, he gets to play these teams. How brilliant is it that he gets to go play Josh Allen, that he just got to play Jalen Hurts and the Eagles, that he beat the Seahawks, that they're answering the questions. So sometimes in sports, we don't get the opportunity to say that. We have to play the what-if game. What if they play them during the regular season? What if they matched up against them in the postseason? We're getting the answers in real time from Dak this year. And that's, that's just something that we should just enjoy. We don't got to start comparing him to Patrick Mahomes right. and Tom Brady and getting all crazy. He's having an unbelievable season. He deserves his flowers for how he's playing. And they're winning because of him mm-hmm. on a team that is absolutely loaded. It's great for him. That's a great point. I've never seen him before. So I do gotta... say, like, I feel bad for Dak perception. And the reason I do is because, like, it does feel so weird to put Dak in the conversations of Allen. Why, put Dak, not to me, but I'm saying oh. to hear Shades hit. Like, I understand where Shades coming from. But it's interesting because it didn't feel weird when we put Jalen Hurts in those conversations. Like, it didn't feel weird when we said, like, oh, Jalen Hurts, Patrick Mahomes, Josh Allen, Jalen Hurts. That didn't feel weird. When, when did we do that, though? Last year. When, what happened last year? When Jalen, we did it as Jalen Hurts was on the trajectory to go to a Super Bowl. Right. Which Dak Prescott is currently on the trajectory, too. What I love about this is Dak Prescott is on pace to have a better season than Jalen Hurts. On pace to have 13 wins. He could get to 14 if he wins out. He's on pace to have more total yards. On pace to have more total touchdowns mm-hmm. than Jalen Hurts had last year. Jalen Hurts did not win MVP last year. Right. Right. But oh, he was a yeah, front he did, runner he in week 14. Well, he got, he got, he got and like, and Dak, Hurt, Dak Prescott might not win MVP this year, but he's a front runner 14 weeks into the season. So it's just, the only reason I feel bad for Dak Prescott is because I'm like, it's weird for us to put Dak in conversations that we have willingly put other quarterbacks in. I think the difference may be is we've seen the growth of Jalen Hurts he's getting better and better and better. Now, we're, we're all surprised the way he's playing right now. Would you say that? Mm-hmm. Well, my thing with Dak Prescott, if he goes back to the Dak, of old, right? Because that old wasn't trash. No. You know what I'm saying? It was just solid. But if he if he goes back to that, would you be surprised? Let's see that. No. But no. Oh, you said no, right? I wouldn't be surprised. Okay, so But that wasn't bad. I, I know, but but when we talk about we I think we just said Josh Allen, we just said Patrick Mahomes, and, mm-hmm. and we talk about Joe Burrow. We talk with that category, right? Because now you want to put him in that category. All I'm saying is it's hard to put him in that category for the whole remainder of everything. Because of this good moment he's had. Are we? He's having. Let me ask you this. 
and Joy James all the same question. I feel as though we're punishing Dak for always having been good. You guys are. Think about Dak Prescott. His resume is his resume, though, but right? Dak, of course. But let me let's talk about his resume. Okay. Came into the league 13 and 3. Cool. By when won the NFC, got an MVP vote as a rookie. So okay. thus, the rest of his career, because he started here, when he does this, it doesn't look as dramatic. But had Dak Prescott started 3 and 13 and then gone to 10 and 13. Subscribe here to get the latest from Speak and go watch a few segments from our other shows on FS1.